monarchs are probably the most well-known butterfly species in North America. They migrate south for the winter and fly back to northern states for the summer. To learn more about how these butterflies migrate, Hitchcock Nature Center invites the public September 6th to tag them before they make their grand journey. They're easy to find in fields. Look, 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 here it is. With its orange and black wings and spotted edges, the monarch is a popular butterfly. These monarchs are magical. Now that it's September, these butterflies will start to migrate 1,500 miles to Mexico for the winter. It's just an amazing journey if you think about an insect whose wings are thinner than a piece of paper making this journey all on their own. Before they fly south, Hitchcock Nature Center tags them with help from the public September 6th. That allows us to understand where the monarchs are going, um, what's influencing their migration, um, any changes in patterns. Education program manager Tina Popson talks about the lifespan of monarchs. Those born during the summer only live two to five weeks, but others can live up to nine months. It's a mystery how they know how to get there, how they land in the same areas and return to the same areas that five generations removed you know, that uh, really originally came from. The Borichter girls test their knowledge and skills to catch the butterflies in their nets. Kind of hard to tell if we're seeing the whole one, one that's just flying all over the place teasing oh. us or a whole bunch that are teasing <laughs> us. While seeing several far away in the field, they find out capturing the elusive insect in the net takes time and patience. When they're like purposely avoiding you, not so easy. After watching this monarch for nearly 10 minutes, they catch it. Got it, I got it! Environmental educators help put a tag on the butterfly so they can track its flight route. So support when she pushes that on that, just push gently. Within the next couple of weeks, more monarchs will be flying through the area. They should be coming through. Staff members at Hitchcock Nature Center say monarch butterflies are starting to die off due to climate changes, deforestation, and lack of food. Tina Popson says to help the population, plant milkweed.